Apple released a new version of iOS yesterday, which includes a few new features like collaborative playlists in Apple Music and a new Unity wallpaper for Black History Month. Another intriguing new feature in iOS 17.3 is called Stolen Device Protection. It is disabled by default, and I recommend that iPhone users turn it on after updating to iOS 17.3. Joanna Stern and Nicole Nguyen conducted an investigation for the Wall Street Journal that resulted in this feature. They discovered that thieves had been stealing money and accessing sensitive data that was supposed to be securely stored on an iPhone and the associated iCloud account. iPhone thieves have taken advantage of this opportunity by going to bars late at night and approaching strangers in order to obtain their passcodes. For example, an iPhone thief told Joanna Stern that he would inform his victims that he wanted to add them on Snapchat. Because it is often easier to enter your contact information directly onto someone else's phone, rather than saying it aloud, the thief would claim that he can type his username directly. When the person hands over the phone, the thief locks it and claims that the iPhone is locked. He simply asked for the passcode and remembered it for later. After stealing a phone, use the passcode to unlock it and change the Apple ID password in the phone settings. This way, Find My iPhone can be disabled, meaning that the target can't remotely wipe their device. Many iPhone users also keep passwords, such as bank app passwords, in their iCloud keychain and credit card information in their Safari autofill preferences. Thieves can also open encrypted notes in the Notes app to see if you've kept your social security information there. They can also access Apple Pay directly. If Face ID fails, the passcode can be used again. Thieves can also register their own faces in Face ID if they know the device passcode. 